Hello, welcome back to Learn Arikinomia. In this video, also we are going to look into the 15 expected questions for UGC net exam. So, the question here is according to the monitors, in the long run, the Phillips curve is in which shape? That's it. Options are vertical, horizontal, downward sloping, upward sloping. So, the right answer is option A. That is the long run Phillips curve as per the monitors in the long run is vertical in its shape. Moving to the next question. What is happening with the import of Chinese toys in India? You have options as Indian toys are selling more, Indian consumers are buying less, Indian consumers are getting more choice at cheaper rates and Chinese consumers are falling short of choice. The right answer is option C, that is the Indian consumers are getting more choice at cheaper price. You know that uh, it is a kind of dumping that China is doing with respect to toys in India. So compared to domestically produced toys, uh, the prices of Chinese made toys are very cheap. So as a result, people have more tendency to buy this choice the quality all these things are uh, still a question there have been many evidences that uh, the quality of this choice are very bad but um, even though the quality is bad uh, still many people are purchasing this choice because it is comparatively cheaper so moving on to the next question special drawing rights are not Option A, a credit line allocated by the IMF to member countries according to each country's quota backed by US dollars, the IMF unit of account, then you have a basket of five currency. So, uh, let me tell you that you have, to, uh, uh, you have to be very clear with respect to uh, not here. Okay, so we have to see that what is not with respect to the special drawing rights. The right answer is option B, that is SDRs is not backed by US dollars. So that option B is the right answer that uh, it is given that it is backed by US dollars. Actually, it's a basket of currencies. Uh, you have dollar, not only dollars, you have Chinese, you Japanese, yen, then you have many other currencies apart from US dollars. US, is US dollars is just a part of a special drawing weight or it's a part of these assets. So um, hope I I think you know what a special drawing right it is uh, something to deal with uh, international monetary fund. Okay, so um, I have already discussed uh, this topic in the previous or some videos uh, before. I uh, I if you want to uh, see more with respect to special drawing rights, please go through those videos um, uh, where we have discussed many questions with respect to IMF and special drawing rights as well. So moving to the next question, Mila, it's a stock exchange not involving which of the following countries stock exchanges. So we have to understand that uh, Mila is a stock exchange. The full form of Mila is important. It stands for Mercado Indigredo Latino, Mer Latino Americano. That is the uh, full form of Mila. So it is uh, it's actually a program that integrates the stock exchange uh, markets of Chile, Colombia, Mexico and Peru. And in the options you have Chile, Peru, Colombia and Cuba. So the right answer is Cuba. So Cuba is not a part. So the question in this question you have to be uh, very uh, very keen to identify the word not. So the right answer is option B Cuba. Actually the three uh, farming members uh, of uh, Leona, these are Leona Stock Exchange, uh, Santiago Stock Exchange and Columbia Stock Exchange, just to give you some uh, ideas with respect to Leona, that's it. Now, um, the next question, in which of the following countries was the National Exchange Control Administration set up to approve all legal purchases of foreign currency? Options are Brazil, Spain, Venezuela, and Mexico. And the right answer is option C, which is Venezuela. Uh, so um, uh, you have to see that the uh, CADV, it is actually uh, it is actually a Venezuela government body which deals with the legal currency exchange in Venezuela. Okay. Next. You have multilateral investment guarantee agency, which is known as MICA. It's a part of the which agency or which body you have UN, you have WEF or the World Economic Forum, then you have WTO or the World Trade Organization and World Bank 
or W B in your options, and the right answer is option D. That is, Mika is a part of World Bank. Okay. So the um, very motive of Mika it is to promote foreign direct investment to developing economies in order to support economic growth, in order to reduce poverty, in order to improve people's life. The headquarter of Mika is at Washington D.C. and uh, right now you have 181 country or member countries in mika the parent organization is world bank and the formation of mika was in 1988 that's it with that we move on to the next question the functions of the international monetary fund include all the following except so please be very careful with respect to these kinds of question it is and it is told that one of the uh, options given here is not a Function of International Monetary Fund, and you have to identify that. All the others are functions of International Monetary Fund. Okay. So the except in except in this question is very important, and the options are to provide emergency loans to countries facing balance of payments problems, to monitor macroeconomic developments continuously in member countries, to serve as the world central bank, and to provide. a line of credit for each member economy so the right answer is option c which is this is not a part of uh, this is not a function of international monetary fund uh, that means the central uh, function of imf would include all all the um, all the functions given here except option c world bank is the one which serves as the world central bank or the central bank of the world it, it, it uh, this is something which could be attributed to world bank it is not international monetary fund Next question: What percentage of currency devaluation was allowed by IMF in the Bretton Woods Agreement? Ten percent, seven percent, twenty percent, fifty percent. The right answer is option A, that is ten percent. And this was officially established on twenty seventh of December nineteen forty five. In this, twenty nine participation and uh, participating countries were there. uh and they have signed uh, articles uh, of uh, signed this articles of agreement uh, imf has to be a keeper of the rules and also uh, the main instrument of public international management uh it had uh, started its operations on march 1st of 1947 the approval was necessary for any change imf approval is very much necessary and in exchange rate uh, in excess of 10% that is the rate fixed So the next question: In which year was the new currency euro introduced? You have 1983, 2001, 1999, 1990, 1990, 1990, 1990, options, and the right answer is option C. That is um, 1999. Then, which of the following constitutes a World Bank? You have International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, that is I I B R T. then you have international finance corporation then you have international development association and then you have international monetary fund so here you have to choose which uh, const which all constitutes the world bank the right answer is option a that means that international bank for reconstruction and development and then you have international finance corporation as well as international development association would be for would, uh, would uh, these are the uh, different parts of world bank So actually, World Bank as well as the International Monetary Fund, these are known as the Bretton Woods Twins, or because these were formed as a result of the Bretton Woods Conference. It the World Bank has got five constituents. Apart from these, uh, you have uh, what to say, uh, two other, uh, two other agencies as well, a part of uh, this World Bank. Or uh, all the total five uh, would be all the total five include the IBRD that is the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development that IFC IFC is there, which is International Finance Corporation. Then you have MICA. Then you have IC uh, uh, SID. Then you have IDA. So these are the uh, different uh, five different agencies of five different bodies which uh, constitute what is known as the World Bank. Then uh, next question: Which one of the following were the aims behind setting up the tech, setting up the World Trade Organization? We know that World Trade Organization is something which has replaced what is known as GATT. GATT stands for the General Agreement on Tariff and Trade, and this was happened. This happened during the Uruguay Round of um, uh, Conference, and it was in 1994. And uh, uh, officially, WTO came into existence in 1995. 
so you have to see the uh, uh, aims behind setting above the world trade organization you have promotion of free trade and resource flow across countries protection of intellectual property rights managing balance trade between different nations promotion of trade between the former east bloc countries and the western world so these are the uh, different options here that means that all these are all these are the different aims or objectives or motives of uh, the world trade organization that's it with that we move on to the next question a country is said to be in debt trap if what happens if what if something happens it is uh, it, it is not as a debt trap what is that in, in options you have it has to abide by the conditionalities imposed by the international monetary fund then you have it has borrowed to make interest payments and outstanding loans then you have it has been refused loans or aid by creditors abroad and lastly and finally you have the world bank charges a very high interest rate on outstanding as well as new loans the right answer is option b that means that a country would be in debt trap if it has to borrow to make interest payments and outstanding loans so it is borrowing that's it next it is something with to deal with basel second and it leads to which of the following international standards for safety in civil aviation measures against cyber crimes measures against track abuse by sports persons international standards for measuring the adequacy of banks capitals i hope every one of you is familiar with basel norms so uh, it is something to deal with banking. So the right answer is option D. That is international standards for measuring the adequacy of banks' capital. So uh, Basel Second specifically, it is actually a framework which describes a more comprehensive measure of the minimal standard of standard for capital adequacy, which uh, would be uh, something to deal with uh, uh, what domestic rule making and also adoption procedure, all these kinds of things. So you have to be familiar with, I think, the motives of Basel Second norms uh, rather than Basel First. Basel Second is very important. So uh, again, uh, we can see that a very important topic that is NAMA. NAMA is actually NAMA level is a group of countries which frequently appears in news in the context of the appeals of which one of the following this is important uh, so NAMA is a very important topic um, you have to uh, why I am stressing it is that you have to uh, read uh, it separately because um, it is very important you can definitely definitely expect questions from these kinds of areas and here the options are nuclear supplies group world bank world economic forum and finally you have w2 right answer is w2 uh, because the fighting on um, uh, pruning industrial tariffs at the w2 has become more fierce with a group of developing countries so uh, that's all about this nama 11 uh, please read uh, specifically with respect to this topic because you can expect questions that's it so then coming to the next question uh, the final one in the session uh, the in the context of affairs of which of the following is a fatal special safeguard mechanism mentioned in the news very frequently you have united nations environment program you have world trade organization you have asean india free trade agreement and finally you have g20 submits so um, i hope all the options are clear finally you have g20 submits okay and the right answer here is the safeguard mechanism is uh, uh, it is one of the three types of the trade protection measures so there's something to deal with the WTO uh, so you have to understand one more thing that this measure or this special safeguard mechanisms is something which has been implemented alongside with the anti-dumping as well as the countervailing measures okay so with that we in today's session thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and you can be a part of my telegram channel and telegram group i'll be providing the links of the same in the description box so please do uh, use uh, please do use in the sense that you can be a part and you can make discussions there you can clear your doubts so that's all uh, what i want to tell you now uh, this art for today thank you